All right, friends. Hi, I'm back. Um, I bumped the camera, so I had to restart. So forgive me. It was like an earthquake. What can I tell you? I didn't want you to get sick. <laughs> All right. So um, I'm now going to read um, three of the four portions. If you guys do not have this book, I highly recommend it. It's Praying Through the Names of Jesus. Ow, that candle was hot. <laughs> Praying Through the Names of Jesus by Tony Evans. So um, such great encouragement. And um, so his is listed on section 67, page 169. It is Rabbani, um, or Rabbani, as we just heard. Jesus, so here's the scripture, John 20, 16. Jesus said to her, Mary, she turned and said to him in Hebrews, Rabbani, which means teacher. So again, that is John 20, chapter 20, verse 16. So we're going to read the adoration. And the section I don't read is the confession because that's very personal. And I mean, I love it, but we're just, we're trying to not make it as long for you guys. So or I'm trying not to make it as long for you guys. So when I say we, I'm talking about, is it the royal we? No. Yeah. Yeah. In a sense it is. It's where God guides me. So it is, I guess the royal we. So anyways, all right. Adoration. Sorry. I hope you're laughing. Okay. Adoration. Jesus, you revealed yourself to Mary when she needed you the most. During your time on earth, you revealed yourself often to those who were of a humble spirit and truly sought you. It wasn't to the wise that you made yourself known. It was to those who were babes and trusted you. I adore you for your name, Rabbani, meaning teacher. I worship you for the full knowledge of all things, which is contained in you. You hold every part of my body together, as well as all the earth and the entire universe in which the earth resides. The sum total of your knowledge is beyond what our finite minds can grasp. And yet you make yourself available as our Rabbani. You desire to teach us, and I worship this heart of yours, which wants us to learn. Do you ever get started on, and you're looking at something and you go down a, a like a, 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 what is it called? A rabbit trail or whatever. And you're digging and you're going and you're going. And sometimes it gets like off the main subject, but God is just laying it on your heart and teaching you. Yes. If you have to prepare something for somebody else, you've got to get to that main core subject, but allow God to teach you in the rabbit trails. Take the scenic loop. Um, one of the funny things about my husband and he knows this, so I'm not speaking out of, out of, uh, out of turn here. Um, he gets nervous driving and he kind of lacks that inner compass sometimes that I weirdly, um, am blessed that God has blessed me with. Um, so all glory to God. And, um, he'll always be like, you need to check the map. You need to check the map before we had mapping. And I'm like, we're fine. Just go five more minutes. Just go five more minutes. And occasionally we miss our turn. And so we have to take a different turn. And you would have thought the world had melted down for him, bless his heart. And I'm always like, why you like that? Because the scenic loop is just beautiful, just as beautiful as the direct loop. And maybe this is the way God wanted us to come this day. You know, enjoy the journey. So my friends, when you are seeking knowledge of Jesus and the Lord, and you're trying to better understand scripture, or you're trying to better understand um, the words that you're studying or anything else, just let the Lord teach you. Take that time. Learn the lessons. Even though it may not be the main lesson you thought you were going to do that day, you never know what God's going to teach you. It's such a blessing. You know, when we go to church and we go to Sunday school, I get so excited because we're learning. I love it. I love to te to study. I love, I do love teaching, though I'm not really a great teacher. I am uh, my gifts are in encouragement and mercy. So it worked perfectly in the type of teaching that I did. But I love to study God's word. I love to hear what other people say. I love to share what God has taught my heart. I have to be, I have to like rein it in because I like to share too much. But I just think that if we can't get excited about Jesus's word, we're missing it. The word, Jesus, we have got to get excited. We got to get passionate. We got to love him so that when we are having a horrible, terrible, no good, very bad day, we can go out and still love others with the love of Jesus Christ. Did you hear what I said? That's why we study the word to know him better. So when we are in those terrible, horrible, no good, very bad days, he is still the light of our life. And if we are asked to give an account, we can turn around, share Jesus and share it in love and share it in excitement. Be honest, say, you know, I'm having a really bad day, but man, just you asking these questions and me getting to share about the number one thing in my life. What a blessing this is. You have so blessed me. 
And I can't say how many times I've said that to people who didn't know Jesus, who wanted to argue Jesus, who wanted to know, who knew Jesus and wanted to know, you know, wanted to fellowship. God has a plan when we are. Take the scenic loop. Let God teach you. Let God show you. And let God, you know, use your beautiful life to share all about him. Because what you know in that fellowship with Jesus we want everybody to know. We want everybody to know Jesus so they can come and be with us in heaven and we can have fellowship and we can praise and worship God and we can live forever and eternity in this incredible place called heaven. All right. Let me keep reading. Okay. So now Thanksgiving. So here we go. Here's Thanksgiving to Jesus. Okay. Jesus, Rev and I, thank you for your teaching me all I know. Thank you for teaching me all I know. Thank you for growing me in the level that you have. Thank you for drawing me to you so that I do not waste my life pursuing that will burn up in heaven as wood, hay, and straw, as is talked of in 1 Corinthians 3, 12 through 13. I am grateful for the wisdom you have revealed to me, which can direct my use of my time, talents, and treasures for work that will last. Whatever is done in the pure love of Christ will last. It will last. Thank you for revealing these things to me. Don't think that what you're doing in the name of the Lord is not of value. It clearly has eternal value, my friends. Keep serving him well. Okay, lastly, supplication. This is where we're coming to God. We are asking. We are, at, we are seeking him and asking. Supplication. Jesus, teach me. Are you asking Jesus that? Teach me, Jesus. Rabbi, teach me. Rabbi, instruct me. Give me my get, uh, guide my thoughts into the fullness of the wisdom which you are willing to give me and which I am able to receive. Show me great and awesome things which I have not yet known. Open my mind to receive the illumination of the Spirit as you teach me, Rabbi. Give me a hunger for your word by which I can gain all I need to know for life and godliness. Teach my heart to love like yours. Teach my heart to love like yours. My heart cries home. Teach my heart to love like yours, Jesus. Rabbi, teacher, <sighs> teach my spirit to show compassion to others through my thoughts and actions. Teach me how you hate pride so that I will not entertain it within me. Teach me what is futile in life so that I don't waste my days. Teach me to number my days so that I, that all I am is devoted to you and your will for my life. So I have been going through something in my private life, and I can't get into a lot of it, but it is distracting at best. Hold on, guys. Sorry, I had an alarm going off. It is distracting at best. It is something that can consume my thoughts. It is heartbreaking. It is difficult, just like many things. And then there's some other personal things that are going on that you just kind of look and go, what in the world happened here? Um, because there are some people you can just love, 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 and, and something happens and, you know, you're trying your best and there may or may not be healing. You just, you just have to keep loving and praying for, and that's okay. Um, and sure, you know, if I've done something wrong that I need to know, you know, kind of thing. Um, and then there are just some that do things that they make a choice and there's nothing you can do about that. And, and, uh, in rep, you know, Satan loves to rip up our reputations. There's no doubt. And, uh, because then he wins people don't, you aren't trust, trustworthy enough to be, um, a Christian, much less a Christian who talks about the Lord. And I just think there are just trials in this earth that, you know, uh, that you go through and you don't quite know why. And you just hope that God's going to teach you in that. And, um, and that's okay. We praise him in the good and we praise him in the bad. And just like last night, you know, when I couldn't get these videos, I, uh, the videos, the, the two complete videos uploaded, I mean, it would literally run for five, six hours and then it would just, or five, four or five hours, pardon me. And then just say it failed at the very end. It was like, oh my goodness gracious sakes alive. How in the world? And you know, you're literally watching the countdown. You're watching it. I mean, the time isn't the time it says. It's not going to be two hours. It's going to be five. And so you're watching it to make sure, because if it doesn't work, you got to immediately, you know, delete, restart the whole thing. But yesterday when I kept getting interrupted, who would have known that that, that was the way God was going to show me it was going to be able to be uploaded? 
So today I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to upload bit by bit. So it's an opportunity to let God teach us. And God was teaching me, it's not going to work that way right now, honey. You got to listen to me. And so praise God, you know, praise God. So one of the things I wanted to add onto this lesson very, very quickly was the term that we may not get to called the way, the truth, and the life. Because remember, I talked about that scripture. So um, the scripture references are John 14, 6 and Acts 9, 2. Um, John 14, 6 and Acts 9, 2. Sorry, I was a little bit fast on that. Jesus is our path to God. Without Jesus, Jesus said, I'm the way. I'm the way. Sorry, I'm kind of tapping my chest. So I'm the way, the truth. He is the truth and the life. So if we understand that he gives us, we get life through him in eternity and on this earth. He's what guides our steps. Okay. Insights. Um, hold on. Okay. My sticky came off. Sorry. <laughs> Jesus is the way to God. He is the path to truth and life. No mere human teacher is the map, the road, the destination, and the one who has gone ahead of us. There's no teacher here on this earth that is that. Only Jesus was, okay? Um, the related titles are Forerunner, Jacob's Ladder, and those, um, we can find those referenced, or those names referenced in Hebrews 6.20, Genesis 28.12. So Hebrews 6.20, Hebrews 6.20, sorry, I'm going fast. Genesis 28.12, Genesis 28.12, and John 1.51, John 1.51. Now, last but not least... <laughs> I wanted to kind of go through this. Um, how can we know the way, asked Thomas, as he sat with his fellow apostles and their Lord at the table after the supper on the on the memorable, memorable night of the betrayal. And the betrayal that we're referring to is when Judas betrayed Jesus. And Christ's divine answer was, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And that again, John 14, 5 through 6. And so he is. He is the source of our comfort, the inspiration of our life, the author of our salvation. If we want to know our relationship, um, if we want to know our relationship to God, we go to Jesus. If we would know the truth of the immortality of the soul, and we have exemplified um, in the Savior's resurrection, and, and pardon me, we have exemplified it, we have it. We have it exemplified in the Savior's resurrection. Sorry, guys. Um, this is a lighter print, and remember, my eyes are goofy. <laughs> so, if we desire to learn the ideal life to lead among our fellow men, we can find a perfect example in the life of Jesus, and that is from David O. McKay. I am going to read Way, Truth, and Life, and then I will let you guys go. So this is from Jeffrey R. Holland, and he says the about the way, that portion of the verse that talks about the way. Jesus said he was the way. He did not say he would show the way, although he did. He said he was the way. That's huge. This particular way, remember, John showed the way to Jesus. Jesus is the way. Ah, I know, right? Okay. This particular way is, and you probably already knew that. Sorry, guys. In this particular way is, imp is impassable alone. He waits patiently for us while we rest. He encourages us when we murmur. He calls us back when we stray. Ultimately, he carries us on his shoulders, rejoicing because we find the, we, um, sorry me, um, rejoicing because we find the heights are too great and the waters too deep. Only strict adherence in its most literal sense to the Lord Jesus Christ will see us through. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And that is a reference, and that is Acts 4, 12. So when it talks about he carries us on his back, think of the lamb and the shepherd. We are the sheep, he is the shepherd. He literally picks us up and carries us. When the one strayed, he goes to get the one and leaves the 99. Remember, that is how important you are to Jesus. Let's continue on. Um, a great uh, scripture for this uh, reference is uh, Matthew eleven twenty eight 28 through 30. Write that down. Matthew eleven twenty eight 28 through 30. Okay. The truth. 
we come to know the truth of all things as we learn the words of Christ in his scriptures. It is not just enough to read the words of Christ, but to follow their counsel as well. The truth, follow their counsel. This truth we learn from him by learning and applying will make us free, free from bondage and sin, free from restrictive consequences in this life and in the life to come. Uh, John eight thirty one through 32 says it like this. If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed, and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Another reference is James 1, 22, Be ye doers of the word, not hearers alone. Guys, the truth, we must know the truth and we must share the truth. Because this world wants to absolutely deceive everyone. And Satan wants to trip everyone up. We need, so when I say the world, remember we're pilgrims. We're not of this world. Scripture tells us our goal is heaven. Though while we're here, we are to praise God, honor God, and tell as many people to bring them with us. We love the Lord, the God, with all of our heart, with all of our mind, with all of our soul. And we um, love our neighbors ourselves. Those are the two greatest commandments. So we got to share the good news. We got to love Jesus. We got to honor Jesus. We got to we got to know the word. We got to seek him in everything we do. That's tough. That's tough. I literally cut my own hair yesterday. Yes, there were a lot of prayers said, but it took a month of praying through should I cut my own hair and save the money. Finally, I realized, yes, because I always correct the haircut anyways when I go get a cut somewhere else. Why spend the money? <laughs> right. <laughs> a friend was asking me here recently, um, cause I was telling her I was going to cut my own hair and she was like, seriously. And I said, yeah. And it's not like long, long hair that you, you know, if you mess it up, it's no big deal or it's just long, you know, you're not going to mess it up. You just have to trim off the bottom. That's pretty easy. And, or trim just your bangs. I said, this is a layered cut that I'm going to do myself, um, in stages. So I've done the first stage, you know, light layers. I may go back and add some more, but the thing she was like, you know, you're doing it like the old ways. And I said, yeah, yeah, we do that. This We do that here. We do that here. <laughs> we, uh, I'm getting ready to make bread this weekend. So we do that here. <laughs> all right. So the life and that's, um, it's a keto bread. So don't worry. It's okay. It's all good. So, um, the life, John three sixteen. for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever, whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Again, that is Tried and true, John 3, 16. We have John 5, 24. So we're talking about the life here. Verily I say unto you, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death into life. And that is Jesus talking. Jesus gives us life. John 17, 3. And this is the life eternal, that, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. Amen. Again, that was John 17, 3, and the previous one was John 5, 24. So I am going to read you another quote by David O. McKay, and then I'm going to let you go. God has already prepared the way. His son is the way. Now he's just preparing you. God isn't asking you to figure it out. He's asking you to trust that he already has. Without his divine guidance and constant inspiration, we cannot succeed with his guidance. With his inspiration, we cannot fail. Again, that is David O. McKay. Guys, why are we reinventing the wheel? I'm telling that to myself right now. Why do I think I have to reinvent the wheel in order to get through this life? Why can't I just lean on Jesus? truth i can i can live on jesus so i've got one more quick question for y'all as we get ready to go and this is in back to rabbi why do you think jesus cautioned his disciples in matthew 23a against the title rabbi um i wanted to bring that full circle and there's another question Ooh, I guess I'm going to go ahead and ask it because it's just too good of a question. Why, and I don't know why I didn't highlight it, but why do you think Jesus washed his disciples' feet the night before his death, making this one of the last lessons he would leave them prior to his crucifixion? Those two go hand in hand. So leave comments below. Um, I have got, I wrote my, oh, I meant to pull that out. I have that scripture I'm going to change 
for the channel. Um, okay, hopefully it is in my um, my faith journal. So I'm going to edit, upload this. Then, Lord willing, we're getting to the planner. If not, when I come home for church, I will begin that tomorrow. Um, if not, lay into tonight. Um, my husband and daughter will be working hard out there and I'll be working in between in here. So um, I can't believe you made it through all this teaching and no call yet from my chiropractor. She is really selling that bull. All right, friends. <laughs> Funny, funny side note. All right, guys, God's timing is perfect. That's what we know today. Let's pray. I'll let you go. Dear Jesus, we bow before you. Rabbi, I, teacher, rabbi, 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 rabboni. Um, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for teaching us. And thank you for being the way, the truth, and the life. You guide our steps. You teach us. You are the truth. You are everything to us. We bow at your feet. We praise your name. We lift your name on high. We share your name with other people. We share who you are, Jesus. And I pray right now for each and every person here today that if they don't know you, they'll ask you into their life. They'll repent of their sin and they will turn completely 180 in their life and serve you well and know you through your word. Lord, I also ask right now for those who know you and may be going through struggles we get through one struggle and another one comes, Lord. And I know these are building blocks to teach us your way, your will. And is also Satan trying to thwart our efforts in life and to, to keep us preoccupied with all this chaos. God, we ask you to calm the waters. We ask you to give us your strength when we are weak. We ask you, God, for your wisdom to know what to do, what not to do, to be quiet, when to speak, when not to speak. Lord, I'm in a season of being quiet on some things and it is breaking my heart in many ways. And you know this, and I know there are others out there right now who are going through trials and they don't know what to do. Lord, guide our steps, show us your way and help us whatever we do to be pleasing to you and do not worry about our reputation. Do not be thinking as the Pharisees and the rabbis of the day for that, that, that position in life. Lord, um, keep our hearts humble, help us to serve you well. And Lord, we just pray that we can know you better, that we can know you better. And just as Jesus washed the feet of the, di the, the disciples before that last supper, help us to have an attitude and even at times hands that will serve you, our heart attitude and our hands that will serve you and is equally a way, a way that, that keeps us humble, that we know we are not the be all end all, that we know it is only you that counts in this world, Lord, that it is your, your will, your way, your wisdom. Help us to rely heavily on that and help us to share that. Jesus, thank you for your grace, your mercy. Thank you for all that you've done for us. Thank you for teaching us. Thank you for allowing us to know God better. God the Father, better. Thank you so much, Lord, for sending your Son. And Lord, thank you for sending the Holy Spirit to guide our steps. We love you. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Holy Spirit. Three in one. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. We are in awe of your awesomeness. We don't understand this, that you are three in one. We don't understand that. You're on this earth with our, our thinking. Help us to be able to understand your logic and to leave our logic alone. Because man's logic is not your logic, God. Help us to seek you in your ways. In Jesus' most precious name, I pray. Amen. Okay, friends, I will get these uploaded. I will turn this off and get busy immediately. I love you as much as I love you. Jesus loves you so, so much more. Serve him well. Seek his will, his way in your life. And uh, look for those wonderful teachers in your life that will guide you to Jesus and to the word and to know him better. All right, friends, I will talk to you soon. Love y'all. Bye.